Hello, guys and gals. How are you guys doing today? You are here with Real Mama. So you're talking to the number one Mama Diva. And how are you guys um, this evening? Today we are going to discuss, are you doing good for bullshit? <clears throat> I know there's so many people that's going through it, you know, whether it be with your husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, significant other, um, friends at the workplace, your job, you know, just a whole bunch. You know, people are just getting so tired of bullshit. And I want to start with relationships. If you know you in a relationship and the person that you in that relationship with, um, you know, you just so fucking tired of that bullshit. It's to the point that when that motherfucker walk past or that bitch walk past, you be like, damn, I can't stand this bitch. I can't wait to get out of this relationship. I wish I could dump her ass right now. Or I wish I could dump his ass right now. Why are you still there? You, only you know your level. There, there, there are degrees and levels to bullshit and only you know what you can withstand if you know you to the point that you 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 can't stand it and there's no way out then there's only one or two things that you could do stick it out you know stick there with it you know try to make it work or do you do you have you ever wondered why you hear um, about these relationships that last 50 years, 40 years, 30 years, you know, um, 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 and you be like, damn, what's their secret? The secret is they do them, but they do it with respect. You can have a significant other and still be respectful. When you hear these guys that's in the corporate um, industry and you wonder how they how do, you be like damn when you see that shit on the news with the aldermen and mayors and all this shit you be like damn he had a mistress for 10 years how the fuck he make that happen because you know why because he had that shit set up and his mistress know where she stand with Arnold Schwarzenegger look what the fuck that happened right up under his wife knows he got what 13 year old son that's been there you know why that shit lasted as long as it did because that bitch knew where she stood she was getting what she was going to get anyway. He was taking care of her. What no need for her to act no fool. It got out because the motherfucker um, slipped up. And he wasn't honest with all involved. If you honest with all parties involved, you, you ain't going to have this kind of problem. Let me give you a scenario. If a woman, this is how a woman is. If a woman is going to cheat and the man she's with, they go out to dinner. We out to dinner. And he's sitting right there next to me. You know what she gonna do, babe? Hold up a minute. Let me let, let me let me check in. Hello? Yeah, huh? Um, you know what? I'm out with the girls. We gonna be out for a couple of hours. Um, you know I will call you when I'm on my way home. All right, boo. Okay, I love you. Talk to you in a few. Bye. That's how she do it. And this nigga don't, next to her don't care if she say she love you a million times and she gonna suck your dick or anything else because you know why? He know he getting the ass before the end of the night. So he gonna sit back and be cool. You know how a nigga do it? This how y'all get fucked up. Yeah, babe. Uh, I'm out with the guys and, uh, um, um, we just, I'm just going to grab a couple of beers or something to hang out with them. And then, um, I'll be home soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'll call you or I'll text you later. All right, I got to go. Bye. Now, right there, your woman know you fucking around. You fucked up. She already knows that. But if you were honest with all parties involved, you wouldn't have that. Because if you let the bitch know right here, all you got to do is sit aside and all you got to do is say to her, you know what, babe? I got a woman at home. I ain't trying to leave, lose her. I, I'm not leaving her for nobody. I just want to have some fun. I just want to kick it. If you feel the same way, let's do it. Now, that broad going to tell you one or two things. She going to say, okay, shit, that's all I want to do, too. So, let's go at it. Or she going to say, fuck off. Move on. I ain't about that. And I, I, you know, I ain't trying to do that. If you honest with everybody in, I tell my husband, don't think, hey, I'm just, you probably saying, what about you? Been there, baby, been there, done that. I went through it with my kids' fathers, my other kids' dads. Went through it with my husband. My husband cheated on me three times. Three different times. I took him back all the time and I told him, I said, all I, I told him, I said, this is the last time. I said, all I ask is that you be fucking honest with me. Be honest with me so I know where I stand. I know that if you fucking this bitch, 
down here, whatever. I know that I need to make you strap up. I know that I need. I, I just ask one two because I done been through it so many times. Niggas ain't gonna be faithful. They ain't. They gonna do what the fuck it is that they wanna do. But let me know what it is that I need to do. If you feel that you wanna run off and you wanna venture off and your eyes is open or whatever, see people thinking that that cheating is only when. Um, motherfuckers fucking each other. No, there's all different levels of cheating. If you looking at a bitch and you know your woman is right there, that's cheating. If you got a bitch on your mind and your woman is there, that's cheating. It's just different levels. There's different degrees to cheating. And I tell my, if you won't go and do whatever it is that you're going to do, then maybe go do it and then come home. I'm going to be right here because you know what? I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. But if they can be respectful, respect our home, and respect each other, wait, well, you can have a long-lasting relationship. You got, there's been plenty of people that's got open marriages and everything. Well, all the conniving and lying where you want to cut a motherfucker's neck, you want to beat a bitch down, is when motherfuckers start lying to each other. When you know the ones that don't lie, please, I tell the bitches, motherfucker, bitch, come tell me. I saw your husband talking to such and such and woo, 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 okay. Shit, nigga probably gonna go to the They saw me talking to somebody. If I ain't seen the shit for myself, if a bitch ain't coming and being disrespectful to me, I don't give a fuck. Go do what it is you need to do. Go do you. Because half the time, the bitch don't look better than you. She ain't got more than you. And he, he coming back anyway, and you gonna wind up taking his ass back. The same thing, nigga. If you with a woman, and you know you're doing everything, everything for her, and she not giving you what you need, do one or two things. Either stay with her and try to work it out, or move the fuck on. Ain't no sense of going back and forth. Y'all want to kill each other. Y'all want to, you know, be honest. You can be honest and have an honest relationship, an open relationship, and still be together for years. For years. It's when motherfuckers start fucking up and start lying to each other. That's when shit go haywire. That's what she, if you know that you talk, if you know that you talk, shit, I'm too good for this bullshit. Then yeah, roll the fuck on. But if you know if it's cheaper to keep his ass, then you know what it is that you've got to do. Because motherfuckers is going to keep lying to you. Bitches is going to keep lying to you. And ain't no sense of going through all of this drama. It's just not. You do you. Let them do you. Y'all come together as one. Be respectful. My man was at a club one day. And uh, we out with this car club and everything, and the bitch come off and she said, I just love tall men. Man, you look good. He studied telling her, you know, I'm married, my woman is here, and this and that. Hey, you think I got mad at the bitch? I, cause, huh, I know he look good, and I know he tall, and I know he got it hanging and slanging and everything else. So, you know what, at the end of the day, he come home with me. I told him, I said, here, I, go buy that bitch a drink. Tell her what's up and then move the fuck on. Because when this motherfucker closed down, we leaving together. That's the type of bitch that I am. That that that's that's how I bring it. If you know ain't no sense of getting getting jealous again. Same way with me and me, you wanna go beat another nigga down because they looking at your woman because they she she a fine motherfucker. They you, you the problem is when a motherfucker don't whoop your ass. If she ain't looking at your if you go out and every time you turn around and niggas ain't checking her out and they ain't trying to say something, then it's something wrong with that bitch. Please believe me, it's something wrong with it. Nobody wants something that nobody else wants. Everybody wants something that everybody wants. If you got a fine ass fucking woman, everybody gonna want a shit. Put on your arms and, and, and treat her like a queen and do your thing. If you got a fine ass nigga, and damn, should a bitch gonna want her? She gonna do everything in her power to keep him. It's up to you guys to make that shit work. If you can't make that shit work, then it's time for you to move the fuck on. Really, really. Um, we gonna get into this topic more. The same way I haven't gotten on, you know, the friends and the families and everything else. But if you know that you're too good for this bullshit, only you know your level of it. Um, I wrote a poem and I wanna just read this before we end this. And um, and then you know, but as usual, you know, chatting and kicking it with Mama Diva, real mamas. You keep tuning in and don't forget to um, subscribe. Too good for bullshit. I am too good for bullshit. You see, all these sad ass niggas always want to blame me. 
Every time they can't stand up and be a real man, I'm the one he takes it out on him just because he knows he can. Too good for bullshit. This hell will end now. With God by my side, I will figure it out somehow. No more crying or stress over this punk ass wannabe. This is a new day and it's all about me. Too good for bullshit. I'm starting over new. Before I go through this again, I'm telling a nigga, fuck you. And that goes for men and women. If you know you too good for bullshit, then leave it alone and move on. Um, until next time, love you all. Peace, God bless, and ta-ta for now.